experiences, um, just what that you've achieved, and uh, yeah. Pressure, man. <laughs> so yeah. you're the first guest, so um, you ready? Hold on. Alright ladies and gents, it's your boy Rudy Simon, I'm back and welcome to my channel. My first guest, first guest <laughs> ever has to be the one and only Harmony K, Harmony Katulondi. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so Thank much, Thank you for man. being here. Appreciate it. Uh, when this idea came, I said I have to get this guy on <laughs> first, but he's such a busy guy, so it took us a few weeks to, to get where we are, so... We're well, finally yeah, here, finally, man. Finally, finally here. Finally. <laughs> so, Harmony, why don't you just, as corny as it sounds, tell us about yourself, the things you've done what you've achieved and how you got to where you are. Yo, man, I, that, that is a long list. Bro. That's how <laughs> much experience he has. <laughs> yeah, no, it's crazy. Um, first of all, my name is Harmony Katalandi. Uh, yo, I've got a long name. Harmony, Kat Harmony Kalombo, uh, Hubert III Katalandi. Um, I do a lot of things. First, first of all, I'm a son of God, so, <laughs> you know, blessed. Amen, uh, God amen. has blessed me with so many talents, so many gifts, and so many accolades, yep. amazing friends and family. Um, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a writer, I'm a, a philanthropist, I'm an economist, I have a degree in BCom Economics and Econometrics, majoring in uh, hey, strategic see. management, uh, international business, yeah. you know, just it's a whole list of stuff. Um, but I think... And he forgot something. He's also a presenter for one of the <laughs> biggest shows in Southern Africa. Yeah. Don't be too modest. Okay, yeah, I'm <laughs> Top a, billing, baby. I'm an actor, model, presenter as well. Uh, yeah, and I present... Um, for top billing. It's an amazing lifestyle show where we get to travel around the world, um, taste amazing food, meet incredible people mm -hmm. and have so many adventures. So, so yeah. then for the whole top billing thing, let's start from the end and go back down. For top billing, how did you get into it and how has the journey changed your life? Um, you know what's the crazy thing? With, with top billing, Ever since I was a kid, I always used to watch Top Billing and be like, that would be so cool. Like, yeah, yeah. I would, because that, that's my life, adventure, tasting food, meeting people, having great conversations. Uh -huh. And so I used to watch it and be like, I, I feel like I'm going to do this one day. Yeah. You know, I'd love to do this one day. Um, they, then they started having auditions, presenters search auditions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We watched that. So yeah. <laughs> we felt the space. But, <laughs> the thing that a lot of people don't know is that I'd entered uh, the previous seasons, like twice before. Ooh, and so you got told no. You, that's the thing I so I'd make it to like top um, top like 40 uh -huh. and you know from there people would tell me like oh no uh, you're really good or whatever but not for for this platform not for this platform so when this year's competition came last I was, year end of uh, last year 2018 yeah, yeah, yeah when yeah. 2018 came I was just like I'm not gonna go you know and my friends called me up and that's also another thing you have to make sure you have good friends and yeah, family yeah, true, who true, true. support you who know your dreams yeah. and who, who see the good you know the gifts and the talent yeah. and the potential in you yeah. so my friends were like they're like yo you've been wanting to do this not only have you been wanting to do this you are perfect for yeah, this thing seriously, yeah seriously yeah and so they were like come come they even started blackmailing me because they know some <laughs> things about me yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. come through come through and i was like okay cool i'm just coming to support yeah, you yeah. you know i'm not coming to and really for the audition just to, just to stop you one of the reasons why i'm doing this channel was because i was there the night you won we were all yeah, together at the yeah, place in Rambo. That, so man. i was sitting and i was like everybody's here for you because of your talents i need to tap into my own ability because yeah. I, I really just sat and just evaluated the whole environment and i'm like i need to do something with my life yeah and i'm also in school and you were in school and you're not using your degree well yes <laughs> yeah and how 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 did you get to that point of saying i'm not gonna follow this route i'm gonna go down the entertainment route and degree you're just gonna remain a backup plan <laughs> and you have congolese parents how did you tell them about yo that? okay I'll, I'll be honest with you first of all first of all um i i truly I love e economics um, because for me, economics, you could either see it as an academic degree mm -hmm. or you could see it as a degree that allows you to really look and tap into the lives of other people. So that's why I went into to economics. It's not necessarily for the numbers and, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. you know, it's more about, okay, e economics talks about the economy of, of the country. What is the economy of the country? How much the, the country GDP, makes? All yeah, that stuff, GDP, yeah. all that stuff. How much the basically how much the country makes? Yeah, yeah, he's smart. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's literally how yeah. much the country makes. Yeah. What is 
how much the country makes is dependent on people because people are the True. ones making their money. True. True. And what is that about? That's about jobs. This is about True. creating jobs. When people get jobs, they're mm-hmm. able to live a better lifestyle. That's you know, a bit yeah. more jobs, better lifestyle, less crime, yeah. all that kind of stuff. But also, it's literally just about the betterment of, of people. Okay, um, but yeah. if they can't get those jobs, they, they tend to go to crimes and they live a less That's why the, the crimes life. are so high in South Africa. Yeah. But the history that we have as yeah. a country... So it, it really it's not makes only sense, Africa. Yeah. It's not. I mean, it's not only South Africa. It's Africa, and actually, it's the world as oh, a yeah. whole. So for me, economics is a big thing because I'm really big on um, uh, economic development, sustainability, bettering people's lives. Mm-hmm. Just in general, all of that comes down to bettering people's lives, oh, and I okay. see economics as a route for that. But that's a conversation maybe for later on. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Um, I studied. I started with as soon as I came out of of high, high school. school. Kez, actually, right? yeah, I went to Kes. Okay. But yeah, so Kes, I wanted to play basketball straight off the high school mm-hmm. i wanted to go to the to the states to play in the nba oh. um well at least try to get try, to the yeah, NBA. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. i felt deep down i felt like that would be fun but i feel like i'm called for something bigger something better deep. you know what i'm that saying to make not, not that decision that, at a young age that is yeah familiar. but it's literally about having a connection with god and also be being serious to being serious with yourself telling mm-hmm. yourself the truth it's like yeah, yeah. it's like yes this is fun yes you can do it but is it who you're created to be Interesting. it's like if we think uh, yeah it's a, it's a little little example would be um a, a spoon for example you could have a spoon and you know uh you know how we sometimes use the back of the spoon to, yeah. to use it as a screwdriver yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it works like that, but, but is that what it was created for? for? Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Yes, you could take a spoon and maybe chop a bit of a, depending on how sharp your spoon is, chop a bit of a fruit or whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's not created to chop, it's yeah, created yeah. to scoop. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. as long as you're not doing that, yes, you could be great at all these other things but you're not successful because successful is um a- achieving the goal or the purpose for which you were created this for guy's got so much yeah. wisdom. <laughs> serious i'm not trying to suck up i'm serious. this guy just he knows what to say when to say no that's nah, that's, that's really that's, deep yeah that's all conversations with with you know conversations with god spending time with yeah, god and yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. but yeah i just felt it i felt like yes i'm good with possible i mean i was dunking at at 15 mm-hmm. i was doing 360 dunks and stuff like that and i was like i have potential you know i wasn't yeah. the greatest possible player but i had potential had hearts to go well, yeah so key, and yeah. drive yeah mm-hmm. but i felt inside that no i could do something mm-hmm. greater something bigger yeah. um i was good at numbers yeah uh, like maths and stuff like that numbers were came easy to me and so i was you, good you're at smart English. talented good looking can hey, <laughs> i can't even say triple threat because <laughs> Hey, yeah, bro, that's why I started with saying I'm just really blessed, bro. I'm yeah, just really blessed. No, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, like, and I'll I'll tell you something later on. Um, half of the stuff, half of the stuff that that people say I'm good at, you could teach yourself to be good at it. True, true. You know can I saying? teach myself how to be a good presenter? You can teach yourself to be a good presenter. You really can. It's all about putting in the time, putting yeah. in the hours. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, so after after uh, high school, because I was good. My my the subjects that I was best at was maths. I was good at numbers. English I could I can literally, you could give me a word I could write you a whole page, randomly so just off the top of my well. head. Yeah. So why aren't you rapping? I used to rap when I was a kid, but oh, it was wow. just one of those. It's one of those things I'll get into times, later yeah. on. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like once again, it's that thing where it's like it's a gift, it's a yeah, talent, yeah, 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 yeah. but it's not necessarily what I'm called for. Yeah. I'll use it later on. I'm thinking maybe like albums and stuff later yeah, on yeah. in life, just to be like, God gave me this gift and this talent, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I don't want to get to heaven and he'd be like, Ash man, you could have. I want to finish all the gifts and talents, That's you deep. know, That's by deep. the time I get yeah. there. But anyway, um, uh, so because English, maths. Um, back in my day, uh, accounting was a big craze. Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay, cool. Let me get into accounting. Um, got into accounting, did first year, did second year. In second year, I, I started having that feeling again. It's like, I'm going to be trapped here. You know what I'm saying? I felt like, yes, I got excited by the numbers. I did commercial law. I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Commercial law was amazing. I liked the thinking yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah. Um, financial management, I was good at that. Uh-huh. Auditing, I was good at that. Jeez, which is babe. funny. When, when, when I did auditing, we had this presentation where I was speaking to them. My team and I had done this incredible research. We were great. Our presentation yeah. was beautiful. We had rehearsed and everything. As soon as I started speaking, I saw the people's faces, like the, the judges who were judging us for um, our presentation. Their faces just lit up and it changed and they were just paying attention to me. And then I was speaking, I was speaking. And when I was done, you know, I'm out here throwing these numbers, these yeah, stats, yeah. this research. And you know, I'll see them light up and I'll think, yeah, you know, that research we went in. That time it's you just know? you. That yeah. You and then when at. I was done, they were just like, 
dude, you should be like on TV or radio. In my head, I'm like thinking, dude, what about all the research yeah, you worked I'm just, just <laughs> Like, dude, your voice, yeah. I was mesmerized. I'll be honest with you, I can't even hear. I didn't even know. I can't tell you what you were speaking about. But, you know, we ended up getting a distinction for that presentation. But I don't think they remembered what I said. They just yeah. remembered how I said it and yeah. the way I delivered it. Yeah. So I did, I did accounting for two years. And then I was going to go into my third year. But I felt like if I do my third year and then I graduate, I'm going to get into honors. I mean, I was already getting headhunted by like big... Uh, corporates, Deloitte, so your you Vestake, your R and B, approaching you for like big things. Yeah, but I mean, it was still the, the you still put in the work, so mm -hmm. yeah, I was like, getting approached by these people, yeah. and I was like, dude, if I do third year, I'll graduate, and then I'll go into honors, and I'll get into articles, and I'll be, you know, these firms, I'll work for these firms. Nine to five. Yeah, nine to five, and then I feel like after ten years, I'd wake up, and I'd, I don't know if I'd be miserable. You know what I'm saying? That was a risk. It's like, yeah. will you? Are you willing to spend yeah. ten years of your life in a place that you're unhappy? You know what yeah, I'm sure saying? you can get your money end of the month. But yeah, and, that, and, and end of the month. And then yeah. what is going to happen is, yes, you're going to get a good car, and then you're going to get a good place. But then there's going to be the life catches up with you. Yeah, you're going to yeah. get a good car, but in the beginning, that I don't know Ford Fiesta or Ford Focus or that. Um, Vivo, that Polo is going to be fine, but yeah. then you're going to want a GTI, yeah. and you're going to want a BMW, BMW then you're going to want a Merc. Yeah, so your, yeah, your costs are going to keep... Humans keep wanting. Yeah, yeah. it's consumerism. Yeah, yeah. That's, it's, it's, a whole, it's a whole trap thing, yeah. but that's for another day. Yeah. Um, so I was like, you're going to keep growing with that. Your money's going to grow, but you're going to keep growing with that. And life is not necessarily, a, not necessarily about money. It's more true, about true. your purpose and your goal, because if you follow your purpose and your passion, the, the, the money and all of the other stuff is going to come later. Really yeah. follow. And when I speak about purpose and passion it's usually in line with what god has created you 100%. for so it's you following yeah. yeah following the, the 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 purpose for which you were created you know that's finding your, your identity within god you know it's basically mm. following the kingdom of god and yes. all these things so so follow, you know, yeah. literally just follow yeah. you you know what i'm saying but um after that i went into economics because i was interested in the numbers and stuff but i was more interested in the people behind the numbers Accounting was about credit this, debit this. But I was like, who's this person? There's a million rand, a million dollar figure behind here. I'm debiting this, I'm moving it to this account. Yeah, yeah. But who's the person behind this? How have they made this? How come they can make this? And, and another, yeah. Yeah, another million can't. people yeah. can't make it. You know what I'm saying? So economics allowed you to, to find out about that. The thinking behind it. I did economic philosophy, economic psychology, economics, micro, macro. I did all types of yeah. economics. And even econometrics is more um, it's like actuarial science for economics so it's it's the numbers and the stats and the math yeah. and the equations behind all of that so I went into that because that was fascinating it's like oh these people do this because of this that's how I can trace with you saying mm. economics is about the economy yeah, yeah, yeah. I can give you a line you know so you can see how mm. it impacts you as an individual that's deep, so bro. that's the kind of thinking that's where my mind was at yeah, yeah, you know yeah. and I did that but at the same time while I was in varsity I started a production company with some friends Yeah, Harvey, the one, what it do, baby? Hi, what's up? My name's Jean-Bella Fonita Splendid.